बिस्मिल्लाम असलकुम स्टूडेंट्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लोटोकॉर्ड एज वेल एज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यूरल ट्यूब सो द प्रोसेस इज कार्ड न्यूरोलेशन एज वी नो वी आर studying node uh, nowadays the development of third wheel <coughs> main events which occur during the development of third wheel are establishment of three germ layers number 2 is the appearance of primitive streak which we have already have studied number 3 is the development of notochord number 4 is the neurulation which starts in the middle of the third week and ends in the early part of the fourth week at this stage i want to give sort of an assignment to some students of the first year this includes four roll number 4 14 14 24 34 44 these are students will make the assignment of the gastrulation i said this in the previous lecture but unfortunately it was not recorded at that time so you have to send it this uh, assignment this time you have to send this assignment to my mail and at the end of the lecture or in in the <coughs> middle of the lecture <coughs> i will tell you the roll numbers which will send assignment to me of the formation of neurotocard and neurotube so let's start the topic formation of notochord this is you know the primitive streak it has parts that this is the primitive streak at its cranial end it has node and pit as we want to study the formation of notochord so we need to know the cells which from where are coming for the formation of the notochord so these are the first cells from the primitive node and from the cranial part of the primitive streak from here the cells ingress between the ectoderm and endoderm in the median plane towards the oropharyngeal membrane proximal to the oropharyngeal plane here when this is present cursor is present here are the here is the precordial plate so notochord extends from the node to the precordial so by this you know here in this slide the cells from where are coming for the formation of the notochord number 2 extension of the notochord from here to there is the extension of the notochord from primitive node to the precordial plate notochord extends so notochord extends from the primitive node to the precordial plate and the cells which are going to form the notochord they ingress through the primitive node as well as the cranial end of the primitive streak the cells which are ingress through the primitive stroke Uh, primitive streak they will come to lie between the ectoderm and 
and endoderm or you can say hyperblast if it is not being replaced by the endoderm so this is present between the ectoderm and hyperblast and these cells which form a plate like shape beneath this beneath the ectoderm and this is called notochordal process so first notochordal process will be formed by the ingression of the cells from the primitive node in between the ectoderm and endoderm when this notochordal process is formed the second step is that there will be the extension of the primitive plate in this process here you can see that this red line shows the notochordal process which is present between the ectoderm and this will be the this line will be the beneath the red line will be the hypoblast so this notochordal process primitive pitch extend into this notochordal process here you can see that at this end we have the process just like a plate and here we, we can see the canal between in the within the notochordal process so it is the initial stage of the canal formation within the notochordal process so primitive plate extends within the notochordal process with the extension of the primitive plate and or with the formation of the notochordal canal this process will divide into roof and floor so this will be form the roof and this will be the floor of the notochordal canal here you can see that this primitive plate extends into the notochordal process forming a notochordal canal so here is the complete notochordal formation within the notochordal process here you can see that this there is the complete formation of the notochordal here this notochordal canal is completely formed within the notochordal process when this as we know this is the notochordal process and this is the canal this will form the upper layer of this red upper red layer is known as the roof of the notochord and this will be the floor of the notochord this floor will be fused with the underlying endoderm and there will be the perforation within it due to this degeneration process there will be the, the these two fused layers will become porous in nature then these fused layer will disappear this fused layer will disappear and primitive pit extends with gets communication to the yolk sac so this hole is no called neuroenteric canal so this neuroenteric canal will communicate the amniotic cavity with the yolk sac cavity here again this is the plate like structure notochordal plate is formed and here you can see that it extends from the node to the precordal plate this this is the oropharyngeal mare behind this we have the precordal plate and then the, this is the cranial end of the precordal uh, notochordal plate so this notochordal plate which is beneath the ectoderm no 
it will as it is incorporated within the endoderm the mid region gets up and elevated and both these two ends will be depressed so with the elevation of the mid region and these ends will come together to each other they will form a solid core this solid core will will be independent of the endoderm and endoderm will appear after the formation of the notochord this cord formation begins at the cranial end and then proliferates and notochord is formed as a solid cord between the cranial to caudal end on both sides of the notochord we can appreciate the mesoderm paraxial mesoderm intermediate mesoderm and the lateral plate mesoderm this is the paraxial mesoderm intermediate mesoderm and the lateral plate mesoderm what is the function of this notochord the notochord will be separated from the endoderm the endoderm will complete its layer and there will be the full endoderm layer beneath the notochord and then we have three layers ectoderm mesoderm notochord and this is the endoderm with the formation of the solid cord it will induce the two structures ectoderm and scleroderm of the somat ectoderm and scleroderm of the cell overlying ectoderm will thicken to form the neural plate here you can say see the proximal part of the notochordal canal persists temporarily as the neuroenteric canal which forms a transitory communication between the amniotic and amblyical vesical cavities or yolk sac cavities you can say when development of the notochord is complete the neuroenteric canal normally obliterates the notochord becomes detached from the endoderm of the umbilical vesical which again becomes a continuous layer so here you can say that when notochord will detach itself from the endoderm it will become again a continuous layer extension you can see the, the notochord extends from the precordal plate to the primitive node the notochord induces sclerotome of the somites to form the bodies of vertebra and intervertebrates but small portion of it persists as the nucleus pulposus of each intervertebral disc so it will induce to form the it will induce sclerotome it will induce sclerotome of the somites to form the bodies of the vertebra and intervertebral disc but small portion of it persists as the nucleus pulposus of each of the intervertebral disc here roll number 4 14 24 34 and 44 will send me rj9961 at the rate of gmail.com send me the assignment at at this address The notochord functions as the primary inductor in the early embryo. The developing notochord induces the overlying embryonic ectoderm to thicken and form the neural plate, the primordium of the central nervous system. So, roll number five, fifteen, twenty-four. 
25, 35, 45. They will send the assignment of today's lecture. And these row number 4, 14, 24, 34 and 44 will send the assignment of the previous lecture. So, now the come to the neural tube formation. This is the notochord which we, which we know the inducer for the overlying ectoderm to form the neural tube. It will induce so that this new ectoderm will be thickened. This will thicken and proliferate. So this proliferation will cause the depression of the mid region of the plate neural neuroectoderm plate and raised edges. So two edges will be raised and mid region of the neuroectoderm will be depressed. Again I will repeat that this notochord will induce the overlying ectoderm so that it will be thickened to form the neuroectoderm. This thickened neuroectoderm will proliferate and mid region of the neuroectoderm will be depressed while the two edges will be raised. This will be raised in such a manner that there will be a groove and here these are the edges you can see. What will be the extension of the neural tube as these are differentiation of the germ is different at different stages. So you can say it extends from the node to the uh, oropharyngeal membrane. Then this, these edges, as there is the depression of the mid region of the neuroectoderm plate and edges will be raised and there will be the more proliferation of the cells, these edges will join each other to form a tubular structure, a tube-like structure. When these edges will be raised, these edges were raising the lateral edge of the neuroectoderm plate will be dissociated from the neural tube. These cells are dissociating that they are going away or they are not showing association with these cells. These dark colored cells, although it is whole neuroectoderm plate, but these dark colored cells will form the neural tube and these light colored cells, but darker than this area, this, this will form the neural crest cell. Now these edges will join in which area? Question arises. So it is the mid embryonic region that It is in the middle of the embryo and fusion will occur cranio and caudally. When this, these will be going to fuse, the edges will be going to fuse, there will be a tube-like structure form and we have the two ends, anterior neuropod and posterior neuropod. These are the openings of this tube so that they can communicate with the amniotic cavity through these neuropores. 
this neuropore, anterior neuropore will close on the 25th day of the development and this posterior neuropore will close on the 28th day of the development. And this tube, neural tube, will give rise to the brain and spinal cord that is the central nervous system. Cranially, it will expand more as compared to the caudally. Caudally, it will be tip, it will be in a tapering form. Cranial vesicle will give rise to the forebrain vesicle, midbrain vesicle, and hindbrain vesicle. And caudal tube-like structure will give rise to the spinal cord. When all these events were occurring for the formation of the neural tube, the lateral edges of the neuroectoderm, the lateral edges of the neuroectoderm will dissociate from the this plate and will move or migrate in dorsal as well as ventral direction to form the neural crest cell. <coughs> These neural crest cells will give rise to the spinal ganglia, number one, number two, parasympathetic ganglia, number three, sympathetic chain and other sympathetic ganglia, adrenal medulla, sensory ganglia of waves seven, eight, nine and ten cranial nerves. Or you can say sensory ganglia of 5 to 10 cranial nerves except 6th one. Parasympathetic nuclei of 3rd, 7th, 9th and 10th cranial nerves. Shaman cell. Leptomenergy. That is pyometer and arachnoid matter. Melanocytes. C cells of thyroid. Bones of face and skull. Odontoblast. Colotruncal septum of heart. Dermis of face and neck cartilages of pharyngeal arches. So these are the derivatives of the neural curve. And this is all about the neural lesion. Thank you.